Okay, I'm gonna look at the Cadron Overlords start collecting box today. Uh, I was hoping they'd come out with one of these ever since they came out with the the first wave of models really. You know, I didn't think it would take this long, but so my duel is here now and uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna use these as allies for Stormcast, but I think there'll be some cool painting projects as well in here. <coughs> it cost thirty seven fifty from Triple Helix Wargame, so that was a I think that's a pretty good deal considering it's probably like 80 pounds at least worth of models in here. And there you can see it comes with the comes with the Endron Master, uh, the Grunstock Thunderers, five of them, three Sky Wardens or Endron Riggers, however you want to build them, and the Grunstock Gun Hauler, which I'm looking forward to building and painting. It looks pretty cool. I don't really like this guy, the Endron Master, but I think it's just the paint job putting me off. Anyway, so it's a big instruction book because I guess the gun holder is a pain in the ass to build. Actually, they look pretty fiddly seeing so you build the two part mines and everything, it's just crazy. Should be, should be good, good fun though. Then it's got all the rules in here. Oh, one thing I was wanting to see was the rules for this battalion. Right, so the special rule with this Star Clayton set, Hammerhest Prospectors, Contractual Obligations. Do not take battle shock tests for the Thunders from this battalion while the Ender Master from this battalion is on the battlefield. Uh, doesn't seem that good. Maybe if it was for the whole, the whole battalion, but just for the one unit of Thunders, not really worth it I guess, but no big deal. I'm probably just going to use these and I'll use them as allies and then probably just try a game with just the models that comes in here. Just some kind of open play thing. All the bases. And then the gun hauler base. Well that's the Sky Warden base thing. So I was wondering how that would hold up the gun hauler but this is the gun hauler one. Which is pretty cool, it's got to be ball on the bottom, so you can kind of angle the gun hauler or you don't have to put in one of those old stands that will just snap clean off at the slightest movement. Oh, these models are such nice detail on these newer models. So that's the... Wait. The Endron Master. He's pretty beefy. I don't think I realise how big these chunky these models are until they're built as well. So I did buy the Admiral last year when the models came out just for something to paint and also just to see what they were like. And he was a lot bigger than I expected. So kinda knew what I was getting into, but Oh there's a lot there's a, a lot better detail on this as well. It was just all round a really cool model. So I'm able to throw him in the army as well. Don't really like his face, but yeah, that's the thing that looks weird about him. But I think it could just be the the paint job. It makes it look like the. At first, I thought those two dots in his mustache were his eyes. So I could I, every time I look at him, I can't help but see that. Let's see. Those always look like his eyes and that. I can't unsee it. Right, what's this? This is just one of the thunder sprues. I guess yeah, that must be all these. Oh, they're so detailed, it's brilliant. I never really liked the computer sculpture look at first, but like it was a bit too clean with there. Trying, trying really well and doing really well with these guys. And there's all the thunderers and all their special weapons. Ooh, what's this? Well, that's the 
Sky Wardens or Andron Riggers, wherever I want to build them, I'll have to look up what's best. They should be cool to build as well. The wee balls and the rudder thing. Lots of pieces, lots of tiny pieces. Nothing I'm not unfamiliar with though. Oh, and the big one. Is it just one sprue? Maybe it's spread over, but hopefully that piece isn't snapped off something. Right. Well, I guess, I guess it's just the one sprue. I thought it would be bigger, but I guess this is the smallest ship out of the lot. It would have been brilliant if they'd put a, a frigate in the start collection box or something. Or maybe even just like one of the battle line units, because none of these are battle line units. So you still need three units of the Arknot company to actually have a legal army if you're going to do the, the points match player, whatever it is. But yeah, this is going to be a cool one. I'm looking forward to building this one. Yeah, this guy's going to be cool. Right, so that's the gun hauler, sky wardens, thunderers. Is there five there? One, two, three, four, five, and then the boss. So that's that's pretty good for thirty-seven fifty. It's even worth it for fifty, but uh, I can I can never really justify paying those prices. So uh, I always shop around to get a, a cheaper deal. I don't know how I'm gonna paint them. I painted this guy. Just kind of like the follow the box art. But I kind of changed the the shade of the metal a bit. It's a bit brighter. It turned out nice. It's still it's still not finished, 100% finished. But I think I'm going to change the color scheme of these guys and do some verdigris on them or something. I think that would look cool. Anyway, I'm going to be unboxing. Brock Grungson next, which is probably the main reason I actually wanted to get into these guys. This model's just ridiculously cool. I've seen that a lot of people don't really use it or anything. They think it's, I guess the points cost too high, 300 points or something for what he actually does, but I'm going to be doing that one next, so please like and subscribe so you don't miss that, and thanks for watching.